Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who you know is involved with somebody else outside of their relationship or connection with you on a romantic, in a romantic sense, okay? A romantic third party. So if you know this is your situation, I'm going to take a look at what are your person's current feelings for that third party, and also what are their current feelings for you, Taurus, in comparison. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone um, to, with a phone number, sharing with you a phone number or an email or anything like that, telling you to contact them for, for a reading, for a personal reading, Please be aware, those are scammers, that is not me, so ignore those messages, okay? All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are Taurus's person's current feelings for the third party. Please show me, thank you, Spirit. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords, and we have Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, the Moon, the Knight of Swords, the Magician, and the King of Cups. All right. So I do feel like there was some sort of painful ending between uh, your person, Taurus, and the third party with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. I do feel like with the Four of Swords, right now, your person is separated and isolated from this third party. Sorry about those dogs outside. They're not mine. They're the neighbors. However, I do feel like um, whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, I do see that they still carry a lot of emotion for the third party. Um, it feels like this might have been recent, you know, this this separation or this this heartbreak. It feels like it might have been recent or or relatively recent. Because I do see that your person is not healed at all from this separation. And with the Moon card and the Ace of Cups, I do feel like your person feels really like depressed, heartbroken, sad. Because they still care about the third party and it looks like your person did really want things to work out. Like it was their intentions were were honest. Your person's intentions were honest with the third party, were sincere.
But for some reason, with the Wheel of Fortune, this could be um, timing. Could, something about, you know, bad timing between them. Yeah, or it can also represent that they were just not their destiny, their destinies together, or their destiny individually weren't matching up together. But I feel like your person, um, Taurus, Taurus, when I say your person, it's just whoever you're dealing with, doesn't mean you're in a relationship with them, okay? Just whoever you're thinking about here. I do feel like your person is trying to manifest the third party back into, into their life with the magician and the king of cups. I do feel like your person is, you know, secretly waiting, waiting for the third party to reach out to them, to contact them. Because I can see that your person is still heavily attached to the third party and and they just can't let go. They can't let go of this, of this ending. They can't move on from this ending that happened between them and the third party. So I do feel like um, with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like your person is waiting for communication from the third party. We are going to take a look at the third party. I'm going to see what their feelings are and their energy. All right, let me do a little bit of clarification. That's that's the, the main story here. But let me see. I'm going to clarify a little bit more. I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune. For some reason, it's kind of, I don't know, calling out to me. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, Spirit? Interesting. Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So, you know, it's like I already said, I do feel like your person had, you know, real intentions, honest intentions, sincere intentions to, to truly have a stable, happy, long-term relationship with the third party. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like your person was truly interested in putting in the work, putting in the effort to, to make it happen, to make this happily ever after happen between them and the third party. So it's like your person had really big expectations here, you know, had really high hopes, high expectations, high, uh, big goals for this relationship. So I feel like that's what that's what makes it even more painful, the fact that things didn't work out. The fact that there was this ending between them and the third party, because I feel like your person did want to go, you know, all the way. Your person was willing to be fully invested. So I don't know what happened, but... Tell me about the moon spirit. All right. Yeah, this is what I already said. Page of Wands and the Two of Cups um, clarifying the moon. So again, it's like your person still feels heavily attached emotionally heavily heavily attached to this third party um, you know the the feeling of loss and sadness is very is at a high level with the ten of swords and the moon it's like the feeling of loss 
and sadness and grief is at a high level um, within your person, Taurus. And with the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups, uh, it's like your person has not come down to reality. Your person is still... Still dreaming. It's like your person is still dreaming, still um, still fantasizing about this relationship with the third party. This happily ever after with the third party. I feel like your person hasn't come down to earth, you know. They haven't quite accepted reality yet. So I feel like, again, your person is waiting for communication from the third party. It just doesn't seem very realistic, though. I don't, for some reason, I'm, I haven't looked at the third party yet. I'm going to look at it, but why do I feel like this communication is not coming? I'm getting that sense that they're waiting, they're waiting um, for no reason, you know? In vain, that's what I want to say. They're waiting in vain. I feel like they're waiting in vain for this communication. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'll take a look at the third party and see. Tell me more about the King of Cups and then I'm going to finish here. All right. Why is the King of Cups here, Spirit? Look at that. The sun and the ace of pentacles. Uh, hmm. The eternal optimist is what I'm feeling <laughs> with this energy. I feel like your person is, is trying to be an optimist here. They're trying to hold on to their optimism. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like your person with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like they still want this commitment. They still want to manifest um, a second chance or a second opportunity here with the, with the third party. I don't know why. It feels kind of foolish, though. To be honest, I feel like this person is not accepting reality they're being an optimist um, in an unrealistic way unrealistically optimistic but let's look at the third party maybe i'm wrong let's see what are the third party's feelings what is what is their current energy Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are the third party's current feelings for this person, whoever Taurus is dealing with in love? How does the third party currently feel about this person? What is the third party's energy towards Taurus's person? Thank you, Spirit. One more.
At the bottom, we have six of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Okay, we have three of pentacles, six of wands, five of cups, nine of cups, temperance, five of pentacles, king of swords, page of swords, and the magician. So the third party's current feelings for your person, Taurus. Hmm. all right so i feel like what's happening here is yeah this third party seems to be walking away um they're walking away from your person they are refusing to communicate with the king of swords and the page of swords Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like the third party feels like your person did something, did something to them, like made them feel bad in some sort of way, um, brought some kind of deception. And your person feels guilty about that. Your person feels guilty. Your person feels like they ruined their reputation. They ruined the relationship with this third party. And it's up to this third party to decide if they're going to forgive your person or not forgive your person. That's, that's what's going on here. It's a matter of forgiveness. Is the, is the third party going to forgive your person or are they not? Because it does look like it's your person who messed up in some way. I don't know how they messed up. I don't know. They, they lied about something or they, um, they betrayed the third party, this third party in some way, lied to them or deceived them, cheated on them. Or who knows, whatever it is. But... It looks like your person messed things up in this relationship with the third party. And now your person feels guilty, feels remorseful, regretful, wants to, wants to, wants to get this person back. But it's up to the third party to decide if they're willing to forgive. And I kind of feel like the third party here is not looking like they're leaning towards forgiveness. It looks like the third party wants to just heal. They just want to heal from this relationship and move on with their life. But let me clarify and make sure here. There's, there's a little bit of a mixed energy here. There's definitely mixed energy. I do feel like the third party does feel pretty conflicted here. But I feel like the third party is definitely leaning more towards focusing on healing themselves and moving on with their life. Hmm. Tell me about the temperance card spirit, the temperance card in the center of the spread. The Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Wow. So the third party um, is is moving on to new love. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Yeah, that's what that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. The third party is moving on from this relationship with your person, Taurus. They're focusing on moving on, on healing from it. And making their way towards a brand new person, a brand new love. Hmm, that is sad. That's pretty sad. Tell me about the five of cups spirit. Thank you.
the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the third party doesn't want to communicate. They don't feel like there's any point. There's no, there's no point in them communicating with the third party. It's what's, what's done is done. Is basically the energy. What's done is done. There's no real, there's no, there's no turning back from it. I feel bad for this third party, to be honest, because I feel like this third party, they were patient with your person as much as they could be. But it just looks like the third party got fed up, honestly. I feel like there was some sort of constant repetition, a, a negative repetitive cycle. <sighs> Tell me about the Five of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There's something about forgiveness here. Something about accepting forgiveness. Yeah, and I feel like actually this is what this is who your person is. This is your person um, extending out an apology. even if it's just like energetically extending out an apology. But again, the third party, um, it's, it's, it's a no. It's a no from them. Why is the Page of Swords here, Spirit? Yeah, I feel like sometimes there is a little bit of doubt here of, you know, should I forgive? Should I not forgive? Like, am I moving on too quickly? Should I give this another chance? Um, let me see the magician. Yeah, but it's like ultimately the third party feels like there's just too much too much happened already. There's too much that has already happened. Um, and I don't know what the Five of Swords is, but like too, too many games or too many um, lies. And I feel like at the end of the day, it looks like the third party feels like it's just not worth it. So I do see that the third party is moving on towards somebody brand new and yeah they're not going to reach out to your person at least that's the current energy um, they've made up their mind that they're not willing to forgive whatever happened between them it's weird because i do feel like your person had good intentions with with this third party but i don't know it, it looks like they messed up in some way. I don't know how, in what way, but I'm not going to look into it. But I do see your person um, regretting something, though. But again, the third party has kind of made up their mind. They're not going to forgive. They just want to go on. They want to replace your person as soon as possible. All right, Taurus, so that's the story there. That's what's currently going on. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you quickly here um, before I go. Spirit, um, whoever Taurus is dealing with in love, how do they currently feel about Taurus? Thank you, Spirit.
man, that that reading was heavy. I can feel a lot of heaviness um, on top of me. No, 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 not yet. All right, their current feelings for Taurus. All right, we have the world at the bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, Temperance, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. So their feelings for you, Taurus. Wow, look at this third party situation showing up. Look at this, Seven of Pentacles, yikes. Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Heavy, heavy third party situation energy here. That might, that might be a reason why you two separated or things ended between you two, or there's distance. Yeah, because your person was definitely distracted with the third party, two of pentacles again, juggling. Hmm. All right, let me look over here, ace of sword. So they're single, obviously here, nine of pentacles, they're single, they walked away. Oh, okay. They walked away from their past They made the decision to walk away from, from um, the third party. They don't really know what they want right now, Taurus, though. I feel like this is someone who's who's in between. Who, they're in a they're in, in they're in an in-between energy. They're neither here and they're neither there. They're stuck in the middle. They're thinking about things with the Hermit card. What are they thinking about? Let me see. We have the Temperance card and the Page of Cups. I feel like this is you. Like I feel like this is them thinking about you, thinking about um, pursuing a new beginning with you. Or, or giving, a, giving the relationship with you another chance. There might have been, like I said, with the Ten of Wands, there might have been an ending. Let me clarify that. Tell me about the, the Hermit card, Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, strength and the page of wands, they're kind of resisting communicating with you, Taurus. They're holding back communication. Uh, tell me about temperance. Exactly, look, seven of cups and the six of pentacles. They're holding back because they still haven't fully healed from their previous relationship with the third party. And they feel confused with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. They feel indecisive and confused about what they really want right now, if they want to try to have a relationship with you or not, or if it's too soon, if it's too early, if they feel like they still need to heal. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. This is kind of like a player energy. 
Yeah, right now I feel like that's what you would be receiving from this person. You would, re you would be receiving more of a player type of energy from them because this person is still grieving their separation from, from a third party and they don't really know what they want with the Seven of Cups. I feel like right now they're just kind of looking for someone to fill the void, you know, fill the emptiness type of energy, you know, if that makes sense. That's what I'm seeing. So I would, I would say, you know, I don't know, let's say advice. Any advice for Taurus, please? We have the four of cups, so I would definitely say, you know, don't don't move too quickly with this person. You know, take your time with this person. If you're interested in them, take take your time. Because I feel like this person is not in a in the right headspace right now, or they're not in the right emotional, um, in a good emotional place right now. Uh, so yeah, take your time. Focus on your on yourself, on your on your personal happiness. Don't depend on this person to make you happy, okay? Because I feel like this person is struggling to to make their to make themselves happy. So, you know, they're probably not gonna do a good job making you happy. At least not with this current energy that they're in. So, you know, don't put your eggs into all your eggs into this basket. Take take your time with this person if you're interested. All right, Taurus, I hope this helped you. If it did help you, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.